give me the words and I got the flow. See, I don't gotta write, I got the Holy Ghost. <laughs> yeah, that's called a ghost writer. Jeremiah 5 and 14, that's so fire. Isaiah 14, and when I retire, out of captivity, I broke the iron. Who that is coming out of Mount Zion? Woolly head, looking like a lion. A thousand men marching with no drums on, no trombone, just boots on. Use our voices screaming out, take care of your homes, take care of your wives, take care of your own. Now we standing out here in the valley of the bones. This place called America, this is not your home. This is like a tomb, place where you died at. Now I resurrected, trying to bring the 12 tribes back. I came on a slave ship and I ain't even like that. Put my neck in the rope and I couldn't even fight back. Sold on an auction block, took a man's from his kids. All right, hey man, let's get straight into the main topic, man. The, the demise of fame. It's, it is killing us more than we know it. Um, can you pull up the definition of demise real quick? I, I want to get that. Uh, read that definition, the, the, the first one. Definition of demise. A cessation of existence or activity. Uh, no, A, A. A, death. Death, straight up, death. Now go to um, the definition of fame so we can really draw from that. Uh, read that, zoom in some for the people that got bad eyes. Uh, what is the definition of fame? The state of being known or talked about by many people, especially on account of notable achievements. There you go. So fame is being known or talked about. The, the being known and talked about and being notable in this society is killing us. Give me that, what's the scripture in uh, Micah, right? Is it Micah 3 and 10? I believe it's Micah 3. Really? Let's go to it. Because the, the fame of uh, Babylon the Great is killing us all the while we think that we are uh, prospering from it physically. It's killing us spiritually. Uh, Micah chapter uh, 2, uh, let me see, 2 and 10. 2 and 10. Micah chapter 2 and verse 10. Yeah, read that. Arise ye and depart. For this is not your rest. Uh -huh. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you. It's polluted. So although you got fame and you got money here in Babylon the Great, being that it's polluted, it will destroy you. Read on. Even with a sword, destruction. That's why this, this, this main topic we're going into is the demise of fame. It is destroying us with a sword destruction. Because it's polluted, it ain't, it ain't righteous. Read on. Being well known... Like, like we will be amongst all the nations when the kingdom is established, being well known is only going to bring uh, wealth and eternal life. It's not going to corrupt us, right? Because we'll be in a place that is sin-free, sinless. But when you're in a place that is full of sin, that is, that is uh, built on sin, right. it's going to destroy you with a sore destruction. Pull up the first article of one of the young men that is being destroyed by fame right now. And he's been in the news for the last few weeks. I don't know if y'all been paying attention, but uh, you'll see it. Pull it up, man. Read that for him. From the spun, NBA fans are praying for Zion Williamson after worrying post. Now scroll down and look at the picture. So for most people that don't know, that's Zion Williamson. He was the number one NBA draft pick a few years ago. Uh, he's been injured in the NBA, uh, but he's, he was the number one draft pick. I think he played for Duke or whatever. Uh, very famous, right? Everybody knew who he was. A highlight reels. Um, can we scroll down and see the post of this young man? Because he's only about, how old is he? About 21, 22 now? Zion know. Williamson. Yeah, he's, he's somewhere around there. Read that. Read that post. From Zion Williamson. I can't believe suicide's on my effing mind. I want to leave. That's what he said. And I think it's, it might be, I don't know. I didn't listen to Biggie. I was a Tupac fan. Uh... <laughs> That's just who I was, you know. He, he wasn't the prophet, but I, I was wicked. But I don't know if that's in his song, but he referenced that that lyric or bar in his song and posted it on, I think it was Instagram or something. Pull it back up. Let's see. Uh, I don't know what that is. That might be Instagram. It looked like Instagram. Oh, okay, IG. Read it again, man. I can't believe suicide's on my effing mind. I want to leave. That's what fame is doing to this young man. Because I don't know if y'all been paying attention. He got caught up with um, uh, a porn star. Right. Mm. 
and the porn star is trying to get rich off of him. She tattooed his name on the side of her uh, cheek. That Damn. Me. And that a lot of times head. when it comes... Is when mic you, on, y'all? <laughs> mic on? My mic, check, check. Go ahead. You got to turn me up. Uh, a lot of times they, they know... A lot of times when they come with stuff like this, when you be, you create, you become a public image, that stress, that stress of carrying on that mm-hmm. character, because mm-hmm. that's what you did. You created a character to yeah. represent you publicly. Mm-hmm. That stress of carrying on that character without shaming yourself is so crazy. It'll even put those type of thoughts in a lot of our young yeah. men's heads. And, yeah. and one thing, too, is that with that level of fame, it amplifies people of who they are that's around you. So he finally starting to see that the grass is not greener yeah. on the other side. Yeah. yeah, good point right there, man. Good point. So that that young that fame is is destroying him. All money ain't good money. No. Right. Ain't that what they say? All yeah. money ain't good money, man. And it, it'll destroy you if you ain't prepared. That's why that dude, uh, what's the boy's name? Uh, John Morant. Mm-hmm. John Morant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Twenty something years old. Young like him. Two hundred something million dollars, and he. Playing with guns like it, it ain't nothing. You know, that that's a destructive mind state right there. That's, that's fame slowly destroying him. Mm. Um, give yeah. me that in uh, First Timothy chapter six. The results the, of Christianity. Yeah, Christianity. Yeah, they gotta yeah. go ahead and throw that in there. You gotta always blame Christianity. Yeah. Um, now read verse six, man, because this is what they forgot. First Timothy chapter six and verse six. Uh huh. But godliness with contentment is great gain. Great gain. Go ahead. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. Now jump down to the main point of that. Verse verse 9. I'm going to read verse 9. Verse 9. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare. It ain't talking about getting money the right way. It's talking about coveting money. You do anything for it to the point where you'll destroy your body for it through sports. You covet it. You covered that money, it's going to be a snare. Read on. And into many foolish and hurtful lusts, uh-huh. which drown men in destruction and perdition. Read. For the love of money is the root of all evil. You got to pay attention to that stuff, man. Got to. If you're not ready for it or if you don't have the spirit of God on you, like Abraham. Abraham was rich. Job was rich. Abraham was a friend of God. Job was, it was nobody like him in the east, right? Jacob had wealth. And these were men of God, but they was guided by the spirit of God with that money. Man. If you don't have it, it's going to destroy you. And, and, and y'all been seeing this in the news. This, she, this one right here. Play the video, man. <laughs> this, this is, this Without money words. done destroyed her. Huh? Pull it up, man. Play it. Oh. It hurt for me to say this, but it's coming from a heart. Oh, God. It's been wow. a long time wow. coming, and we done been fell apart. I really want to work this she out. She has been serenaded, Kat. I don't Kat. think it's going to change. The disrespect. I do, but you don't think it's best we go our separate ways. Wow. And tell me why I should stay in this relationship. That's disrespect. When I'm hurting, baby, I ain't happy. Be baby, plus so many other things I gotta deal with. I think that you should let it burn. Wow. wow. She gonna the disrespect. Burn. Well, she keep going that way. She's going to burn. She's Cut letting up, go back, it burn. Play. What do you think about it? Do you think this is permanent? Do you think she's just trolling? I don't know. I guess we're just going to have to watch this. It's going to hurt for me to say Pause this. It, but it- <laughs> Kiki Palmer responds to her baby daddy. Darius in the most petty way. Wow. This is what I don't, I don't understand, right? I'm trying to make it make sense. So she is hurting in a relationship and she's just not happy. But I thought when a woman has a baby, I thought that was supposed to be the happiest moment of her life. Uh, yeah. She but, for the streets. But, streets. She, was, hey, y'all thought that was bad? It get worse. Look Damn. what she did. Play that next video. Wow. Well, I'll be goddamn. <laughs> damn. Y'all, so, y'all, the demise of fame. Hey, man. Cap, she just answered AZ question what? about the baby. About the, the, the baby. All she wanted was the ass from That's the baby. It. Damn. <laughs> play, go back, play the video for the people that missed she it. She got man. what she wanted, man. 
Damn. Little booties matter. My son gave me some ass. I'm my own boss and I got my own cash. I don't need a nigga. Only thing I need is a bag. Come on now, dog. I don't need a nigga. What? Like Wait, nigga. what? My son gave me some ass. Streets. All I need is the bag. What? Hey, the I know hell? one thing for sure. My, my kid's not watching no ancient <laughs> Kiki Palmer movies. That joke is canceled. It's In the it's house over, of Alcipagio, it's canceled. Nope. Fame has destroyed her. She said, I don't give that. I don't need it. All I need is money. And that's what society has got to. That's why I said the love of money is the root of all evil. Cap, what happened to Nickelodeon, man? What happened to sweet Kiki? Oh, now, 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 I see it in the comments. Kiki's not a rapper. But what she did was, that was one of her old songs, because mm -hmm. she's made music before. She can sing a little bit, as you heard, when she th th spit in her BD's uh, face with that song, Let It Burn, Negro. Uh, yeah. she, she can sing, she used to do some music. So what she did was went back on one of her old songs and changed the lyric to slap him in the face even more publicly among people. Pull up that next article. Watch. That sounds like a hurt woman to me. I'm just throwing that out there. I'm just going to chill Bitter. with that. <laughs> Pull it up, man. Pull it up. Read that. From Yahoo Finance. Kiki Palmer altered the lyrics to her track Bossy after recent headlines. She recent, She altered it. Go scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Still out there dressed like that. And you know what he's Still got her ass that? out. He said, you a mama. She wore the same thing. Go back to it. It's worse. That's a one piece now. Damn. It ain't even a dress. Wow. Go down. Go down. Terrible. Read that. Kiki Palmer is proud Shooting to be guns. a mother and isn't apologetic about showing it. On Sunday, the note star appeared at Broccoli City Fest and honored her newfound status as a mother by changing the lyrics to her 2018 track, Bossy. Now scroll down. Scroll down right, right there. That's what we want to. Uh, can we read it? Uh, go down. Go down. Right there, little booties. Go to scroll down, scroll down. So, right there, read it. Make you didn't hear. Go ahead. Little booties matter. My son gave me some ass. She rapped in the latest live rendition, which many circulated on social media. I'm my own boss, and I got my own cash. I don't need a nigga. Only thing I need's a bag. Man, go to Ciroc chapter uh, 24. Bring now, it out. Y'all mentioned that old. <laughs> what happened to that old Nickelodeon? The, yeah. uh, uh, what's Nick. her name? Kiki Palmer. Everybody, oh, man, she looked just like Angela Bassett, man. Dang, she all right looking. Can you give me that in Ciroc chapter 25? And I want you to read verse 16 and 17. Look what God say. Sirach chapter 25 and verse 16. I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. Uh huh, here's the point. The wickedness of a woman. The wickedness of a woman who used to be Nickelodeon, all sweet and innocent. Uh, Michaela the Bee, that had her own little uh, Akila, Akila the Bee, right? Yeah. Read that again, verse 17. The wickedness of a woman <laughs> changeth her face uh -huh. and darkeneth her countenance. Countenance like sack. Y'all would have never thought Lil Kiki would have been out there saying, I don't need no nigga. All I need is the bag. My little baby gave me some ass. Cap, now all I know is money is destroying. Fame is destroying these people out here, man. All I know is Usher Rooney letting it burn. Oh, man. <laughs> now, <laughs> the, the thing she that has... people don't understand is that this weapon of mass destruction is being used against our people. Yes. It's going to make a lot of sisters want to become baby mamas. Just because they won't pay for a, uh, what is it called? Brazilian butt lift? BB, yeah, yeah. BBL. 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 Brazilian yes. butt lift. Yeah. I, blame, I blame Usher, Cap. She has been serenaded. He turned out. Usher. He turned out. He didn't, he didn't even <laughs> sleep with him. I blame from what Usher. I know, it turned out. Damn. Yeah. And, and you know what's the worst part about that statement? She says she don't need no man. All she needs is the bag, right? Mm -hmm. But the most important thing that that kid needs she can't even provide to him, right, which right. is a father, yeah, which yeah. is a daddy, Beat which is God. a husband. She's not even a mother. She can't even provide motherhood. Yeah, no, nah, she can't. Damn. She can't, because all she was worried about was some ass. This is why y'all sisters is out here having babies. They too. want Brazilian butlers, but the that natural way. Right? That's what they want. That's what it's come she to. She used come her on, baby for some booty. Man, that is crazy. Baby. That, that. That right there is child exploitation. It's called, hey, yeah, he just called it baby butt lift. Hey. 
The baby, baby butt lift. Yeah. Oh, but oh, so let me oh, yeah, baby butt, butt lift. So her, the but new age baby butt lift. So she used it for Bruh. skincare and baby butt lifts. Man, that's crazy. That's what she man. said, Cap. That's crazy, man. This fame is out here destroying it. And and this, give me that Revelation chapter eighteen verse four, man. Revelation chapter eighteen verse four. Bring it out. We'll wrap it up. Revelation chapter eighteen verse four. Bring it out. And I heard another voice from heaven saying. Come out of her, my people. And that's what we're saying to you. Come out of the ways of Babylon, man. This place is destroying. The, the fame the, is, is, is literally bringing us to death spiritually and physically because what has happened in the, the, the music world? Last year, it was a stint for months. It was a rapper dying every week down yeah. there. Yep. Physically, it's bringing us death and spiritually, it's keeping us divided as uh, uh, in relationships. She done laid down with the, the man. We had a baby by him. He, he has a concern with the way you dress because now you're no longer just a, a, a girl out there in the world. You're actually a mother, and your kid going to grow up and see that. And he going to ask, why, why didn't you, why ain't you with daddy? Why ain't y'all get married? Because that nigga told me how to dress when I was letting it burn on us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's it's what you going to tell me? You got to let them three or fours go, man. Man, let them go. Read verse four again. Verse four. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. That ye be not partakers of her sins, uh -huh. and that ye receive not of her place. So if you hold on to the things in Babylon, man, you are going to go down with this place when it burns. All for fame. And you can't say that, no, no, I, I love God, uh, but this is how I make my money. There's many other ways. You, if you've reached a certain level of status, certain number in the bank account, if you truly love God, you just like that that man that came up and asked Christ, how do I receive eternal life? You're going to go sell your goods and follow Christ. Meaning what? That you, you are going to give up the ways of the world and you're going to find another way to make money and you're going to give your life to Christ and keep the commandments of God. If you truly love Christ, because the scriptures say that he that nameth the name of Jesus depart shall from depart an from, from iniquity. That's right. You can't remain in that's it and say right. you still love Christ. That's a contradiction. That's called a hypocrite. Yeah. That's right. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. And finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord. His blood.